Hi, this is Hans at TuneIndigo.com with a little lesson on how to hear seventh chords within a key. Now, the way we focus on this within holistic ear training using solfege as our guide, I'm going to explain to you now the seven different kinds of seventh chords and how to hear them within the key using solfege. So let's start with the one chord, which sounds like this, and the the and the scale steps within that are do mi so ti. So that's the one major seventh chord. It's a major seventh chord, which means it has a major triad and then a seventh major seventh interval from the root to that seventh. Okay, the two chord is a minor seventh chord. And its scale tones are re, fa, la, do. So the things to listen for there are the do at, as the seventh, the fa as the third, and the re, the two, as the root. The next chord up is the three minor seventh chord, which has the same quality as the two minor seventh chord. They're both minor seventh chords, but this one contains mi, so, ti, and re. So the hook there is to listen for that mi in the bass. Next up, we've got the other major seventh chord. There are two major seventh chords in a major scale. We've got fa, la, do, and mi. Again, a major seventh chord has a major triad and then a major seventh from the root to the seventh of the chord. The five chord is a very distinctive quality. It's the only dominant seventh chord in the major scale, which means it contains a major triad and then a minor seventh between the root and the seventh. And in classical parlance, we call this a major minor seventh chord because it's a major triad with a minor seventh from the root to the seventh. In common parlance, we just call this a dominant seventh chord, <laughs> okay? And its characteristics are it contains a so, and then a T, and then a fa, and we're going to leave out the re. And then the next chord up is the six minor seventh chord, sharing the same quality as the two and the three chord. It's built on la and contains la, do is in there, mi, and so. And the, the mi is the one that we can leave out. I'll talk more about that shortly. Finally, there's another singleton, the seven half diminished seventh chord or the seven minor seven flat five, which sounds like this. It contains T, Re, Fa, and La. And you might hear this without the third, which would be Re. You might also hear it without the fifth. But without that fifth, we lose that half diminished seventh chord quality. We lose that. So I will often do it. I will often voice this chord with no third. Because then both these upper voices can resolve that way to the five chord. You can practice hearing these with one of these two listening practices separately. One is a slow, ambient quality with just a steady heartbeat type drum. And the other is an 85 beats per minute, more up-tempo groove. They both contain the same chords in the same order. Give those a try. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you real soon.